Hey guys, what's up family? Thank y'all so much for coming back or coming to kick it with a real world brown skin join. If you're interested, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep this content. Hold around this YouTube clean. So let's jump into this motherfucker. Alright, y'all. So this is gonna be probably a quick message, but um it's one of them that I feel like is really important for me to put up here. Cause I was just gonna leave it on TikTok and do my little short video messages. Let me move this a little closer. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna do my little short video messages and just kind of like leave it there. Sorry y'all, it's really irritating me. Really irritating me. And I'm channeling right now, so therefore, y'all could be in some, some irritation station going on, okay? So this message is very perfect for that, okay? It's perfect for that. So, right now, obviously, we just getting out of this. We're, we're in a shadow period right now, this Mercury retrograde, but you know, on May 1st, Pluto went into retrograde, okay? And if you are not familiar with that or, you know, into astrology and the planets and all that shit, um, when being that, okay, let me slow down. Pluto, which, or Scorpio, which is ruled by Pluto, okay, is the planet that has to deal with death and rebirth, okay? Which is Scorpio, okay? So again, like when I said, okay, um, I'm irritated or it might be like a little frustration, like you're just not feeling it and things are just seeming like off to you, right? A lot of adjusting going on. So um, being that that planet is in reverse, it's going in reverse right now, right? You're, it's, what it's doing is it's pulling out alongside the Mercury retrograde that's already be whooping ass for people, okay? But that's not what it be for, okay? So don't ever look at it as a... Uh, daunting time look at it as like an opportunity for you to be like all right let me make sure all my shit straight you know what i'm saying let me make sure i'm in alignment for real, for real okay so now that we have um pluto also in retrograde doing the same thing but what this planet does is it's digging up all the gook you know how sometimes you cook and it be like that gook stuck at the bottom of the pot if you let the pot burn or some shit like that you're making a soup or something like that it start to burn okay so that's what pluto does it comes and scoops up all that gook so all that stuff that you thought that you were healed from all the things that you like oh i don't need no healing for that no more i got through that um i'm, I'm good off that okay pluto said okay we're gonna find out <laughs> okay and so that's what this time is doing okay and so and trust me y'all <laughs> trust me that bitch came over here like you getting these hands too i don't know who the fuck you think you are you're gonna get these hands too because you got an elevation into me too so i've been over here going through my own going through my own shit okay <laughs> doing my own shadow work okay because your girl been over here tweaking a little bit it's gonna be okay so recently what i've been channeling was um abyss void right but when i had abyss right abyss you know people automatically think like hell or something but i'm not looking at that i'm thinking just of like a void, like just an open space, but it's black, it's dark, okay? And it reminded me of um, Stranger Things 11, right? If you're familiar with that, the girl 11, they used to have her in a, um, not a warehouse, like a, a, you know, like a clinic or some shit, or like a, a place. And they used to do experiments on her and stuff. And they would have her, you know, cause she was, she had powers. So what they would do is they would put her in the, in the tank. And she'd be in a, in this void, this black, dark space. And, um, she, she, her, she kind of like, um, she kind of could put herself there. Okay. In that void. And wherever she decides that she is in the void like wherever she wants to go she can be like that void will take her there like she can she can be in that energy okay i'm sorry i know i'm kind of like trying to i'm trying to get the words together y'all i'm not trying to rush through this but i also don't have all that <laughs> okay so and we don't have to get long with it so um yeah so this is what this message was kind of reminding me of um also we've been seeing 10 10 a lot uh, 12, 12, I don't know why it just popped up in my head, so I said it, um, and then 5, 5, 5, of course, right, so, again, lots of changes, we know fives have to deal with, like, conflicts and things, so, again, it's, it's bringing up some shit that's gonna irritate you, that's some shit that you thought that you was healed from, some shit you thought you, you moved on from, you were good from, no, it's going to come back up on you, you're gonna get triggered in some different ways, okay, but that's because the where you're going in life, the elevation's period your manifestations are coming in or, or already arrived right and so we need to make sure like you 
you swept the floor, you wiped off the counters type of thing. Okay, your mama told you to clean the kitchen at night. Okay, and your last thing, you want to just go do that one little quick run through, make sure the counters is wiped down the floor so everything looking good because if she get up in the morning and see that it's a mess, you will get your ass in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that kind of energy. Just getting that out of here because you don't want it to co conflict with what's coming in for you. Okay, what you wanted, what you asked for, right? So you can't have that old shit there in a way because then where's the space for the new stuff, you know? And so um, the void, okay, has, okay, so how I'm looking at the void, the download, how I received it was kind of like, you're you're now in this new blank space, okay? And it reminded me of, um, if y'all are familiar with Rashad Jamar, which a billion of us are, okay? How he was talking about, you know, dark matter energy and how we evolved from dark matter energy, okay? So therefore, or if you even read the Bible, right? If you were religious at some point, you read the Bible, even in Genesis, it talks about God created light. So therefore, it was always dark. Right? So think of it like that. We were, we're in a new creative space. So you're in a void. It seems dark. It seems, I can't see. I don't know. Two of swords energy, right? I, I don't know where I'm going. I can't see. I'm not unsure. I'm unclear. It's nothing for you to be unsure or unclear about, okay? This is now the season. This is now that space for you. You have, literally, it's a, a clean blank, blank slate. It's like a chalkboard that's fully erased. Like, there's nothing on there. They didn't wash it clean. You can now create and do and draw and make whatever you want, okay? So the importance of this is to not be allowing fear to take over in your new creative space. Because if you allow fear to take over, then you're kind of recreate what you just worked the hell to get the fuck out of. So now you're creating a whole new form of stuckness, stagnation in your life, um, confusion, deficiency, you know what I'm saying? You're creating a whole new chalkboard full of that shit, all right? But no, that's, that's not what we finna do. So that's why I'm here to tell you to pay attention to that shit and hop on top of it, right? And, and, and realize I now have the opportunity to, to do this differently. I now know, and because I could see it, right? I have these tools. I've been through all of this up to this point. I got everything I need already within me. So therefore, here we go, y'all. You have to decide. Everything is a choice. So you now have to, in this creative space that you have worked so hard to get to, this new space, this new beginning, this new era in your life, you now have the opportunity to say, I choose and I decide. If I'm going to focus on what I don't want to happen and fear that and, and, and fear monger on that and, and manifest it anyway, or I have the opportunity now to say, I choose to, to focus on every fucking thing I want. I want love. I want to focus on love. I'm not going to think about all the negative possibilities that can come with this relationship or partnership. I'm going to fucking look at everything I want and I'm going to, I'm going to go into it with a good, a good heart. I want a career. I'm tired of working at these jobs. My business is going to flourish i'm not going to worry about the, the the logistics and the a b c d's and e's no i'm going to focus on the goal the end goal the outcome what i want to happen i promise you you come with that type of energy your life is going to flip in the way that you want it to flip if you say do a cartwheel out this motherfucker your life's going to say cartwheel it's going to respond and say cartwheel okay if you say I'm down and out, I'm down and out. Your life is going to say, well, then shit, she's down and out. Bring her everything that's going to bring her down and out. You know what I'm saying? So please understand, you're on, it's like we're neutral, okay? Or you should be working to get to neutral. Once you're in that neutral space, we don't clamor it back up with fear because we're in the unknown territory. Because now, the un, you know, the, the work that you did is behind you. All that is behind you. So now all you have left it's this neutral space. And I know it can be intimidating because it's just like, you just, that old thinking, that interference starts to come in and it's like, well, what you gonna do? You remember when this happened? You remember when that happened? Oh, um, you, you, you meet somebody new and you start thinking about all your old situations that didn't work and get a new position and you feel like, um, you know, you start thinking about all the, the janky shit that used to happen at your jobs or you start, you decide to quit your job and you, and you branch out into um, your entrepreneur and, and, and you do your own thing and you know, you start to think about all the people who told you you were going to fail. Fuck all of that. Okay, that is this is that's the moment right there when those thoughts start intruding on you. That's the moment right there you say, "Hey, 
I know, I, I see y'all. I see this. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, ego interference, little fuckhead it is. I see what you're doing. But see, I have been training for this. You know, what, what the fuck that word would say? You've been training lifetimes for this? You've been training for this. So now you're able to see some shit. Hey, I'm not finna think like that. I could choose to think like that. I could feed into that bullshit, right? Or I could say, hey, hey, hey we're not doing that this time around. We're not doing that this time around. We're gonna focus on success. We're gonna focus on greatness. We're gonna focus on the future. And we're gonna focus on happiness. We're gonna focus on joy. And we're not gonna worry about that bullshit over there. If that bullshit decided to arise over here, guess what? We handle it when we handle it. And it's gonna get handled, it's gonna get dealt with, okay? But we're not gonna focus on that shit. We're gonna focus on the good shit. All right, y'all, so I don't really have no title. I don't really have nothing. This was just like free. Go ahead, I would like, let me go put my carnelian against my chest so I can channel, you know what I'm saying? Have my selenite one so I could get, get it out, okay? So I came on here, I just did what I had to do. 11-11 as I said that because I was led to do this shit, okay? So, I hope it resonated with whoever needs it, y'all. Um, please be kind. Please be gracious. Please be gentle with yourselves, okay? It's not a race for none of us. Like, it's really not. And even if you feel like I was just in this space, I was just here, and I feel a couple steps back, you're not a couple steps back. It's just the energy. It wants you to use it, okay? And, I, and something's popping in my head as I'm saying this. Um... I hate when I don't know people's names on YouTube because I want you to go listen to them for real. But it was just one girl, she basically was saying like, she, she's an astrologer, okay? So she was saying how Saturn doesn't want you to be your own plug, okay? So in other words, this energy that is coming up, like the interference type of energy doesn't want you to go within yourself and know that you can do this and that you are going to be successful. It wants you to feel 1212 when I say that. It doesn't want you to do that. And so when you now that you're in this void, this blank space, this newness, this, dark, this darkness, because you've got to create your own light, right? When you're there, that's when Saturn starts saying, but you know you can't do this shit. You know you mean, you know, you remember the last time. Remember, remember how that last person made you feel? Oh, didn't they say that before? And it wouldn't happen. So why would you believe this person? Or you know what I'm saying? Uh, remember when you tried that first business venture and it didn't work out? What the fuck make you think it's gonna work this time? That's what Saturn's doing. That's what Saturn start doing to you. But you gotta be like, boop, <laughs> like, bitch. What you, you gotta kind of really treat it like, bitch. Who you talking to? Your mother. Your mother. Don't ever come over here with that. Your mama. Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta shut that shit down. Remember, you're creative space. You gonna let somebody come in your house and tell you how to decorate it and, and how the energy should flow? You gonna let somebody tell you how to how to how to detail your car? Oh, you shouldn't tint your windows. Don't tint your windows, but these motherfuckers is gonna be blacked out like this hat. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't let people come in and dictate. So don't let don't don't let the interference come in and dictate that. Point blank period. But y'all. I love you guys so much. I gotta uh, get up and go to my next client, to my little boy. Um, but as I always say, make sure you keep your shit real, tell the truth. Make sure you keep your shit raw, no holds barred, and come back and kick it with your favorite brown skin, John. Hey.